Eid Mubarak to all of you out there, families, brothers, sisters, mothers, fathers. Alhamdulillah, today we celebrate Eid, a day where we all get together in masjids, in homes, all across America, all across the world, and we remember and alhamdulillah are thankful for the bounties that Allah has bestowed upon us and that, he, that we are mindful now, more mindful of our actions and all that we had to exercise in the past month of Ramzan. Alhamdulillah, Allah gives us this refreshing feel on Eid day that we all remember that what we had to go through, maybe at times of a struggle, now gives us, alhamdulillah, a good feeling. It is a time also to, to remember who we are, what our values are, what is important to us. It's important for families too, Eid, because this is a time we all get together as families and we celebrate this time in great measures, alhamdulillah. We have lots of food. We have lots of different kinds of entertainment, alhamdulillah, for children. And they are reminded that this is an important day. It is important, my dear brothers and sisters, to always reaffirm this in our children about these days that we have, our religious holidays, one being Eid, alhamdulillah, so that our children, too, can see that we are a people that is very distinct and has a certain morals that we follow. And that we have days, too, that are important and that we take holidays for. I know especially here in America, when Christmas time comes around, uh, a lot of people feel that, uh, a lot of people feel left out because Christmas, everything literally shuts down in America. Of course, it's largely a Christian population, but if you're in school, it is difficult because everything revolves around Christmas. Kids then feel, you know, they'd like to, you know, take part in this somehow. But also at the same time, we are reminded that we have holidays too, alhamdulillah, and that our children should not feel that, they should feel basically that they know who they are. And it is up to us as parents, even as community members, as our own society, to reinforce this in our children, their own worth, their own self-esteem, and tell them, listen, you are Muslims, alhamdulillah. And they only see that in our own examples. If we are proud of who we are, then they will, inshallah, be proud of who they are. We should not be in between so that they feel maybe they need to be over there and take part there and sort of over here, but the truth is they're more geared towards uh, what their kids are doing in school and what their friends are doing. This is an important thing for all of us that we take part in, not just in Eid, but throughout the year that we join our masjids, that we attend our uh, Thursday Dwai Komails, that we go to Dwai Tavasuls, that we go to all functions that our masjid has to show our children, actually, that these days are important. That these days are worth taking off, for example. Eid is worth taking off from school because it is a holiday for us. It is our Christmas, actually. And never made to feel that they need to look somewhere else. They have here everything, alhamdulillah. It's up to us, actually, though, to show and to point the way and to show something is important so they themselves will also realize that that is important. This is an important thing for all of us to understand, dear brothers and sisters. 
I would actually love to hear, alhamdulillah, how we all have spent our Eid today with our children, with our families. However you spend Eid, we would like to open the calls now to a different session, actually. I know in the past, uh, alhamdulillah, week, we have been spending time answering, quest uh, questioning, actually, you uh, about different uh, facts in the Quran. And alhamdulillah, it has been so informative. We thank, actually, our people uh, in, uh, in Edmonton, al Murtaza Sunday School, for providing us with those questions and helping us all gain knowledge, alhamdulillah. So today, we're going to focus on our viewers out there and what, how we are all spending our Eid today. I would love to hear from our children and all adults if you can please give us a call now and let us know how you spent your Eid or how you're spending your Eid today uh, so we can all learn from each other and uh, kind of rejoice, alhamdulillah, on this day. Our phone lines are open now, 925-292-8676. Uh, also, if you have any thoughts that you'd like to share about Eid uh, any feelings you have, actually, about this blessed day, alhamdulillah, or what you even learned in Ramzan. Uh, it is good to share those thoughts now so we can all hear and all learn and listen to each other, inshallah. So if anybody would like to call up, let us know how you are spending your Eid today or how you spent your Eid today. Did you go to the masjid? Did you have it uh, spend time at home? Have you been visiting relatives? Different cultures have different ways of celebrating. I'd love to hear from all the cultures, actually, uh, whether you're Irani, you're Afghani, you're American. We all celebrate differently. But that's what makes us, alhamdulillah, that's what makes it all enjoyable for all of us. We unite on this day, alhamdulillah, and are happy to hear from you. Please call us right now. Let us know your thoughts or even suggestions. Uh, it would be nice to hear from you. Eid for us, actually, alhamdulillah, we uh, spent time in the masjid today, and it was a fun-filled time, alhamdulillah. Uh, children got together we had even a, a bouncy over there, two bouncies actually, one for boys and one for girls. So it was good because uh, Alhamdulillah, boys have their energy and girls have theirs. So it's best to keep them that way. Okay, it seems that we have a call actually. Uh, if again, anyone out there who would like to let us know, how have you spent your Eid today? Yes, Salam Alaikum. Wa alaykum as -salam. How are you doing today? Eid Mubarak. Right. Eid Mubarak. Uh, can you tell us, uh, what's your name? Zahra. Zahra. I remember you, Zahra. Alhamdulillah. You answered a lot of questions in the past week. Mashallah. Can you tell us actually what you did today and how, you, how your family has spent Eid? Um, well, today we woke up at like 5 um, 40s, we prayed, and then we got ready to go to the masjid. Yes. We went to the, yes. So we went to the masjid, we sat down and said, Eid Mubarak to the people that we know. Yes. And then we heard this lecture about Eid in Ramadan yes. and what our blessings are. And then um, we prayed for that in Eid. Uh-huh. And then like, we went to eat breakfast, and then we went to school. And on Sunday, we're going to have this Eid picnic. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, oh, mashallah. That is so nice, actually. And what is the name of your masjid? What? Uh, what is the name of your masjid where you Imam go? Ali. Mashallah. And where is that located? What part of... Uh, it's, lo it's located in San Diego. In San Diego, mashallah. That sounds so nice, alhamdulillah. And actually, can I ask you, uh, did you talk to your teacher and your class about Eid in school? 
Um, not my teacher because when I came, she was busy with a couple of other students. Mm-hmm. But I did say I did talk about it to a couple of other students in my class. Yes, oh, that's good, alhamdulillah. Yeah, actually, and my teacher already knows about it because I always talk to her about it. Yeah, that's good, alhamdulillah. Our teachers should know in our our schools what Eid is about. Wow, that is wonderful. Thank you so much, actually, for sharing that. And how old are you, Zara? What? How old are you? I'm 10 years old. You're 10 years old. Well, mashallah, thank you so much for sharing that, uh, that story with us. And can you tell us also, uh, what do you like most about Eid? Uh, like I told you yesterday, that we can start eating again. <clears throat> You start yeah, get to start eating again, so that's your favorite part, actually. Okay, that's good. Yeah, then I get present. <laughs> yes, alhamdulillah. That is true, actually. So you you don't miss fasting, I guess, right? You're, you're happy yeah, to I go Yeah, I kind of like the part about fasting, about, like, you know, it's kind of like having a diet, but I really didn't eat one, but I actually felt cool. It did, huh? So you feel, you did feel good about it, actually, when you were doing it. Yeah, yeah. Right. Alhamdulillah. Did you read the Quran more in, in uh, Ramzan? Yeah, I actually finished um, memorizing just 30. Oh, mashallah. You just memorized 30, what did you memorize? The 30th juz. The 30th Quran. juz, mashallah. That's wonderful. Mubarak to you, actually, then, alhamdulillah. Thank you so much for sharing that, and salam and Eid Mubarak to your parents and your family. Thank you. Okay? All right. Salam and alaikum. Salam. Wa alaikum as -salam. Thank you so much for calling. Alhamdulillah, that is, I love to hear when a child, especially only 10 years old, is memorizing the Quran, alhamdulillah, taking the most benefit from Ramzan. Uh, this is something we should all, you know, talk about and think about. Uh, how how should we make the most of our time? That's wonderful, Alhamdulillah. Zahra, thank you so much for calling. Uh, if there's anyone else there who would like to share what they have done uh, this Eid, Alhamdulillah, uh, we'd like to know, like to hear from you, uh, whether you're an adult or a child. Uh, we'd like to hear your experiences. Uh, what you like about Eid, how you spent it, uh, all across, anywhere you are, we would like to hear from you. Okay, again, the question I'm asking everybody is, how did you spend your Eid today? Okay, that is important. Okay, we'd like to hear from you. Our phone number is 925-292-8676. Also, uh, another thing is uh, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu said that Eid, it, any day that you do not sin, is a day of Eid. So this is important for all of us to remember. So let's keep Eid going every day and keep away from things that uh, Allah does not like. Okay, let's see. Salaamu Alaikum. Salaamu Alaikum. Hello, salam. Oh, oh, sorry, caller. Your call just dropped. If you want to try calling again, yes. So that is something uh, important to remember that we take, especially from this Ramzan, that we should stay away uh, from things that Allah has prohibited. We should try and eat halal things. I don't know if there's uh, people. Uh, I know a lot of people actually, even when we were younger didn't know about halal and haram, but we learned, uh, when we did learn, uh, we found out that, you know, eating, of course, at McDonald's and Burger King and all these places is uh, not halal to eat uh, those hamburgers and things. So that's one place I know kids and some adults, I'm sure, too, uh, you know, stay away from those non-halal things and uh, do things that are halal. Allah loves that. And we want to follow, follow that way, the halal way, inshallah. Okay, uh, uh, getting back to our subject here, if anyone would like to call us up um, and let us know, how did you spend your Eid today? 
did you go to the masjid and what masjid did you go to? We'd like to hear from you from all over. So please call us uh, at 925-292-8676. Adults too, you know, feel free. You know, don't be shy. Call up uh, and let us know what you think, even if you have some suggestions or you have, uh, you know, some thoughts to share. Uh, we'd like to know, uh, you know, your thoughts too, please. Uh, it is, uh, uh, again, uh, I'd like to stress actually how important it is uh, that we spend this day, uh, Eid especially, uh, with our families, which we all do, but to reinforce and to always stress to our children, show our children, really, that Eid is a very important day. Uh, it is a holiday for us, just like Christmas is to Christians, and that we should, we should take joy in this day. We should understand what it is, that it marks the end of Ramzan, but the beginning, actually, for all of us for a new sense of, uh, of right and wrong, uh, being more conscious of our a actions, uh, being more mindful and remember Allah. Uh, that is what Ramzan does for us. And Eid, uh, Allah makes us practice every day uh, so that we become more mindful, that we, more, uh, that we become more uh, into his religion and closer to him. And Alhamdulillah on Eid is the end of that, but the beginning of, okay, let's start our days new now and fresh and nice and follow what is right, follow the commandments of Allah, seek His pleasure, turn your face to Him instead of uh, everything else that moves away from Him in this world. So follow what is with Allah. Uh, again, our question out there is if anyone would like to, first of all, if you want to share your thoughts about Eid uh, or Ramzan or anything else, or if you would like to tell us how you spent your Eid today. Salaam alaikum. Salaam alaikum. MashaAllah. What's your name? I'm Amir, Zahra's brother. Oh, you're, her, you're Zahra's brother? Yes. MashaAllah. Uh, can, would you like to share something with us about yes. Eid? Okay, tell us about Eid. Tell us uh, what you did. Yeah, today we went to um, the Jama and I heard the we we prayed and we did. We did um, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Alhamdulillah. Mm hmm Yes. And, and can you tell, I'm sorry, can you tell me how old you are? I'm seven. You're seven years old. And what, and, uh, now, what do you like about Eid? What's your favorite part of Eid? Is when this how we get the presents. How you get the presents, wow. How did you get your presents? Uh, do they give it to you in the morning time? When do you get your presents? Do you get it after when namaz? When I finish Quran, it's easy. Oh, wow, mashallah. So what did you get for Eid? Um, I, um, I still do not get it. Oh, you still did not get it? Okay, inshallah, you'll get it, actually, inshallah. But, uh... uh I'm going to get it. Yes, uh, alhamdulillah, that's... It's, I'm so happy to hear from you and your sister that uh, you guys are going, uh, have went for your Eid prayer, and you had a good time there, alhamdulillah. And you remember uh, what Islam is and that you are Muslims, and that you're proud to be Muslims, right? Yes. Alhamdulillah, that's great. Well, thank you so much, actually, for calling, and we always hope to hear from you again, okay? 
Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak to you too. Eid Mubarak to you and your family. Jazakallah. Okay? Khudaf, salamu alaikum. Thank you for calling. Thank you. MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah. I would love to meet this family. Alhamdulillah. Uh, yes, uh, we love to hear from anybody, uh, children or adults, any adults out there actually, who would like to give a call or any child who would like to give a call and let us know their thoughts about Eid, their favorite part of Eid, uh, or any kind of uh, message they would like to give on this day. Salaamu Alaikum. Wa alaikum as -salam, Sister Huma. How are you? Alhamdulillah. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, I called you yesterday. Uh, my name is Mariam. Mariam, yes, from Birmingham. Yeah, yeah. You remember me? Yes, I remember. Actually, uh, yeah. Actually, I just want to give you a suggestion because uh, I didn't do nothing special today. I just prayed in the morning. Yes. I just want to tell you that when you ask question uh, yes. and then you're waiting for the callers. Yes. You can just um, say some ahadis of Imams and Rasulullah, you know? You're so sweet. Thank you so much, actually, for your suggestions. When uh, something does pop in my mind, I try to say it. Uh, but sometimes Yeah, if you just prepare some ahadis before the program and you yes, just sure. uh, say some ahadis, so, you know, it will be good for all of us. Okay, sure, inshallah. We'll do that. Yes, sure. Yeah, okay. Thank okay. you. Oh, is that? Okay. Thank you so much for your suggestion. Inshallah, okay, no we'll do that. Office. Just pray for me, inshallah. Allah, increase my knowledge, inshallah. And, uh, oh, whoops. Oh, I'm sorry. Hello? Whoops. I'm sorry, Mariam. Uh, actually, Eid Mubarak to you, Mariam, actually, in Birmingham and to your family. Uh, thank you so much for calling and letting us know that suggestion. I will try to do that, inshallah. Uh, so anybody else who would like to call, uh, we want to hear from you. England, we just heard from England, California. Any other states out there who'd like to call and let us know uh, how they spent their Eid today? Uh, I would love, we would love to hear from you, inshallah, about how different places throughout the United States and the world, alhamdulillah, celebrate Eid this day. Alhamdulillah, this is a time actually that we are rejoicing. We're feeling good about ourselves. We're taking, alhamdulillah, breath from what are the hardships we or struggles we went through. But alhamdulillah, Allah is the one that we receive our reward from. Uh, it's with these hardships, with the struggles, uh, that we get more reward. So it's uh, important to remember that anything in the way of Allah, uh, when you're patient, uh, when you hold on to His promise, He will give you that. He will give you the peace at the end, just like Eid. There's struggle during every day in Ramzan, not eating, not drinking, but at the end, Alhamdulillah, cool, refreshing feel. Uh, about what you have, what has happened. Uh, this is a blessing, alhamdulillah. We thank Allah for this blessing. Uh, anyone else actually who would like to share their views uh, or opinions or anything, suggestions you might have about our show or anything, please give us a call, 925-292-8663. Uh, so that is uh, that would be it would be nice to hear from you inshallah this Eid uh, like I was saying before that uh, Eid is every day when we stay away from bad things uh, again we need to concentrate on our children and showing them the way uh, it's I notice with children when you have children that you are more you kind of are more careful because you know that they are watching you and that are, are, you need to be more mindful of that. Uh, that we're going to be questioned about how we raise them and what we do with them. Uh, and that they are a gift to us that we need to return uh, with, inshallah, the best way that we can. May Allah help us all. Okay, anyone else who would like to call in and 
tell us how they spent their Eid. That is what we are talking about today. Just hearing from the viewers out there, taking a breath of fresh air, alhamdulillah, to hear your thoughts and your suggestions uh, on this, alhamdulillah, special day, a uh, special program for that. Uh, we would love to hear from you, inshallah. Okay, uh, anybody else who would like to call? Kids, adults, any adults out there would like to hear from you? We're sitting and watching, inshallah. I know you're out there somewhere. Um, uh, we would like to hear uh, your suggestions about even how to make our programs uh, better for children, actually. Uh, especially in masjids, you know, when we go as families. Uh, how to get them more involved over there. Very important. We want to hear some of you who have some good stories to tell, actually. Uh, because we don't want, uh, we want our children to feel good when they come to the masjid, when they come for Eid. We want to instill that uh, Islam is important. Uh, and I know actually a lot of people uh, want to make things fun uh, for the children so that they, uh, that they get more into their religion. But I, I wanted to say this actually about that, that we concentrate on uh, fun as a, more as a reward of, for example, uh, akhlaq. I know in our masjid we had uh, a contest about who has the best akhlaq. And this, this is important, as we talked about before, that child, children and even adults try to practice better akhlaq. Um, Allah sent, as Allah says in the Quran, that Allah sent Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa sallam so that he would uh, basically help people improve their akhlaq. That's why he was sent to this world, actually. Uh, so that shows you how important it is that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa sallam mentions it. Okay, uh, seems like we have a caller. Salamun alaikum. Walaikum uh, salam. Can I speak to Sister Uma? Yes, speaking. You are on the air right now. Oh, okay. Yes. No, uh, I, I, I just, uh, uh, you just started uh, a few days ago, I think, this program. Uh, actually, uh, we started, I believe it was last Tuesday, if I'm not mistaken, actually. I think it's been uh, over a week now, alhamdulillah. Oh, mashallah. Yes, mashallah. alhamdulillah. Because I didn't know that... Uh, uh, my daughter, Mariam, yes. from Birmingham, she told me, Daddy, uh, she is living in Birmingham. I'm, I'm from New Jersey. So. Oh, yes, she just called, actually. Yes, oh. she ju yeah, your, yes, your daughter from Mariam from Birmingham? Yes, yes, that's my daughter. Yes, that's so. your daughter. Alhamdulillah. Okay, yes, I'm sorry, go on. Yes, so... Um, uh, that's why I opened the, otherwise I just uh, bought your, uh, I think, uh, Muhammad, your husband, I think. Yes. Yeah, so I I love his program. So mostly, uh, most of the time I just uh, watch his uh, program, and uh, I like his, um, uh, uh, the way he um, uh, do the program. That's uh, very nice. He's a very nice person. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. And uh, you, you are doing very good, but I have one uh, uh, quick suggestion. I yes, think sure. If you like it, yes, uh, sure. you should do it. Uh -huh. Just like uh, you can go the history of all Imams, start from uh, Rasulullah Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, mm -hmm. every day. Yes, and, uh -huh. uh, and then after, do the quiz. After yes. Means, uh, when you finish, uh, just uh, Rasulullah uh, uh, all uh, explain all the uh, all his history and uh, all his uh, bi mm -hmm. biography, biography, and then after uh, mm -hmm. uh, make a quiz uh, and ask yes. the questions, uh, and whoever wins some kind of uh, just chocolate or something or some some kind of gift to the cake. Uh -huh. uh, and then after you can go next to other thing. Uh, First Imam, second Imam, to go up all the way down up to the last. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, so this is a kind of uh, good for our uh, young generation. 
Alhamdulillah, that is a wonderful suggestion, actually. Uh, that is something we all need, I think, uh, when we are a- ask questions. It helps all of us, alhamdulillah. Yeah, I thank you so much. I will, inshallah, uh, please pray for me that, inshallah, Allah help me uh, to do this, inshallah. And, okay, and say salam to my dearest, dearest to Maulana. Wa alaykum My name is Jamil Nakhvi, so just say salam to him, okay? Jamil Nakhvi? Jamil Nakhvi. Oh, okay, Nakhvi. Okay. Okay, I will tell him. Thank you so much, actually. Okay. And, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I have one more question. Yes. For you. Uh, how, uh, where, uh, what masjid do you go to in New Jersey? Uh... I go on in New Jersey, Zainabia. Zainabia, yes. Zainabia, uh, yes. Um, uh, Mana, I believe, is Mana over there? Uh, and uh, Aha. Aha, yes. 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 Aha's wife is Mana, yes. Yes, right. yes, yes, actually. Yep. Yes, give Maulana. my salam to them, actually. Please. I will, I will, I will. Allah. Maulana, they just send that in. He take care of her and uh, do namaz and everything. Oh, okay. Mashallah. Mashallah. That's wonderful. Alhamdulillah. Well, thank you so much, actually, uh, yes. for calling. And Eid Mubarak to you and your family, Eid Mubarak. inshallah. And why don't you put uh, your uh, full name, Uma Nakhvi? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you don't write down Nakhvi after your name? Well, you know, I... Well, what can I tell you, actually? That, uh, I think we have... What? How does it say it right now? No, 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 I'm sorry. I, 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 you don't have to explain oh, to too me. Short. That this, this is uh, me and my wife was uh, talking about. So oh, you should, were talking please. about. Oh, we'll we'll actually talk about that actually, inshallah. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. But thank you so much for right. giving your suggestions. Yes. Wa alaikum assalam. We appreciate Alhamdulillah everything you have to say. Uh, may Allah, inshallah, give us more. Uh, more tawfiqat, inshallah, to do the things that you ask and, inshallah, help all of us um, that we all learn, inshallah, in this process. And that, inshallah, this show be for all of you some, a source of knowledge and that it may enlighten you in ways that you never imagine, inshallah. Uh, Allah is the one uh, and He is the one that is the one we all rely on. So uh, thank you again for your suggestion, inshallah. And mashallah, we have had two families call in already, uh, father and daughter and brother and sister, alhamdulillah. So we'd like to hear from more of your families out there. Anyone else who would like to call in and give their suggestions about what we can... uh, or what you did, actually, on your Eid day, how you celebrated it, uh, what is the best part of Eid, and what are you taking even from Ramzan uh, for for your future, for your tomorrow, for the day after? Have you learned anything, or is it uh, the same for you? We want to hear from you. So uh, you can call us at 925-292-8676. Thank you for that. And uh, alhamdulillah, again, we are uh, talking about something important here. That even we want our children to hear that we are excited, alhamdulillah, about Eid. And that we want our children to also be proud of and excited about who they are, alhamdulillah. A time for all of us, uh, the Muslim Ummah actually, to unite, to remember uh, that we're, we're not different, we're the same, alhamdulillah. Uh, so this is a day, it, it brings us all together. You can go in the shop somewhere or grocery store and someone will recognize that you're a Muslim uh, and say, you know, have you gone for Eid prayer? You know, all kinds of things it, it brings up on Eid that reminds us that, wow, we are, we are really, alhamdulillah, all together, all united, but we have to do that every day. This one day gives us a reminder, okay, remember that you're together, that you need to unite, and you need to be one. Uh, Alhamdulillah.
so many blessings. Okay, anyone else who would like to call in and let us know their thoughts? Any other suggestions you have about our show? Uh, or any thoughts about Eid or Ramzan that you would like to share with us? Anybody else out there, inshallah? Okay. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, alhamdulillah, a blessed day that we thank Allah for his blessings. Uh, tomorrow is going to be a different day. Tomorrow we wake up to our routines again, and uh, Ramzan maybe feels far away. But we need to take everything that we have learned and apply. Apply tomorrow. Apply the day after and the day after that. Until the next time Allah gives us another reminder that, you know what, we're in this world temporarily and that you need to remember that you're not here to spend time or to waste time. You need to be more conscious of your time. You need to, you need to pray. You need to read the Quran. You need to remember the message. And uh, alhamdulillah, Allah has given us uh, another time, even, even Muharram, you know, I was thinking, is, is another time that we uh, are reminded of the message in a different way, actually. This time we're talking about practicing in Ramzan and our spiritual spirituality, strengthening our willpower and taqwa, getting closer to Allah. And Muharram, alhamdulillah, has its own blessings, actually, that reinforce all of that, alhamdulillah. So much Allah has given us as blessings that we need to think about, uh, to make use of. And we ask Allah that he help us to, that he grant us, that we make the best use of our time and our energy on this earth, so that when we leave it, that Allah is pleased with us, that the angels come to us and say, you know, salam alaikum. Uh, this is something uh, we should all think about all the time. Uh, another part of, of our lives important. Uh, okay, again, uh, we're asking anybody out there, anyone maybe sitting, thinking of calling, but they're not sure if they should, you know, please... Uh, let us know your thoughts. Even just say Eid Mubarak. We want to hear from you and uh, where you're calling from. And let us know. We would, uh, it would make us all happy, inshallah. Okay? And also any suggestions you have for the show, too. Uh, how we can uh, better serve you, inshallah. Uh, what you would like to hear, inshallah. Uh, this, would, uh, this would be uh, good help for us. Alhamdulillah, uh, Brother Jamil from New Jersey uh, gave a good suggestion, inshallah, about Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the imams and their history. And even for children, even for adults, I think we all need to learn even things that we don't know. Uh, so every bit of knowledge helps. So if you would like to, would like to hear your suggestions, inshallah, if you have any. Uh, in addition to that, uh, so we can make the most use of that. Okay. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Yes. Uh, uh, how did you spend your Eid today? Yes, Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak to you too. And where um, are you calling from? Where am I from? Yes. Where are you calling from? The uh, Bay Area. The Bay Area. Oh, mashallah. And how did you spend your Eid today? Uh, good, good. Um, I have a question. Uh, what mosque do you belong to? Actually, we go to Imam Ali Islamic Center. Oh, okay. That's on uh, Castle Valley, right? Yes, that's correct. Have you been there before? Yes, yes. Um, I live in... Uh, Antioch, and uh, I had a question that I have a couple of uh, young kids, and I was uh, looking to know uh, if uh, you guys have any kind of uh, Islamic education class for the kids. 
Actually, we currently do on Thursday uh, evening, actually. It's, right now it's at Thursday, uh, on Thursday at 6 p.m. And we've kind of done this temporarily. Uh, inshallah, we'll probably be moving to another time. But right now, uh, we have it on Thursday at 6 p.m., right before Dwai Kobail. Uh, that's also to get the, the parents involved and in coming to. Uh, so that is alhamdulillah incentive for everyone. Uh, but uh, if you would be interested, you know, please uh, tomorrow actually would be. It's already Thursday, mashallah. You know, feel free to bring your children, inshallah. And uh, that is our commitment that we want. Uh, they spend every day they're spending in school. How many hours? Uh, we should do our best to get them some Islamic education so that they know what they're doing here. That's very important. Yes, that sure. Take a time for this. Yes, that's sure. That's for sure, actually. And how old are your children? Uh, 13 and 16. 13 and 16. Yeah, and do they have, have they been to Islamic school before? Uh, not really, no. Yes, because th uh, 13 and 16 are very, very, uh, those ages actually are, they're going through a lot. Uh, and uh, I say this to everybody out there too, that uh, the earlier the better that you can get started on uh, Islamic education because they need to, like I talked about before, they need to have, they need to know who they are. Uh, and when they know who they are, then when they go out there in their schools, amongst their friends, uh, they will not swerve to the other way. Uh, their values will not, you know, shake around. So it's important as parents, too, that we do the best to show them this example that, you know, we're Muslims, we have our own set of values, and that you need to follow our values this way this is the right way um, so that inshallah they have and that when they see that then they're going to turn to that they're going to when they have a problem they will turn to Allah uh, they will turn to the Quran or maybe they'll even turn to you know the Mulana and ask him a question or they'll turn to someone else in the masjid or they'll turn to you or whoever but as long as they know they have uh, a place to go to that is safe, that is good, uh, and that instills and it reinforces their values that we need to teach the children. Yeah, uh, Yes, so, uh, so inshallah, you know, uh, feel free to come down tomorrow night, inshallah, or whenever your schedule permits. But Thursday, uh, we have Thursdays the Y Komail, alhamdulillah. You guys don't have like class in the like weekend, right? Uh, not yet, actually. But if enough people start saying now, uh, we will probably be moving to Sunday. I know uh, people have already said that. So I think in the short term, meaning probably within the next, you know, two weeks, we probably will be moving, inshallah, to Sunday. But uh, right now, we have it on Thursday. Okay. Yes. All right. Thank you very much for calling. Okay. Salam alaikum. Eid mubarak. Eid mubarak. Okay. Salam. Yes, brothers and sisters, that is another uh, very important thing I always say. You know, the earlier the better uh, with trying to get your kids into education. It is uh, Islamic education. It's very strong out there. Uh, the peer pressure. Uh, everything they have to deal with, all kinds of things are going on uh, in schools uh, that maybe sometimes uh, your children may not talk to, uh, talk to you about. Very important to keep the communication open between you and your child from the very you know, moment you know, they enter kindergarten, really, uh, so that they feel they have a place to turn to, that they can you know, talk to you whenever they have a problem. Uh, uh, and at the same time, uh, you should be reminding them who they are. Don't forget about the reminders. Very important. Uh, we can't just think that if we put them in school, everything is fine. You know, they're getting their education. 
But what we don't realize and what we don't see is that their values, they're seeing other people's values. They're seeing other things that are going on that it's hard to erase, actually. But if you commit to basically, like we talked about, Islamic education somehow, Prophet Muhammad said that teach your children two things. One is the Quran, that they should be attached to the Quran. And number two is that they should have the love of the Ahlul Bayt, alayhi salam. What is the, how strong these two are. One is the Quran, when they read it, when they become attached to it. Number two, their role models. They see that, you know, Imam Ali, alayhi salam, who he was. Imam Hassan, alayhi salam, who he was. The more time they spend and the more time they uh, are exposed to that they should love the Ahlul Bayt. Uh, sending them to the masjid, uh, always hearing about uh, visiting the masjid on their uh, waladats, on their birthdays. Very important. Salaamu Alaikum. Assalamu Alaikum, uh, Sister Fumar. How are you, Sister Zahida? Alhamdulillah, Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak to you, Alhamdulillah. It's so nice to hear from you. Uh, it's so nice to hear you too, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So how are you spending, uh, how did you spend Eid today? Uh, Alhamdulillah, you know, uh, get up early in the morning like, uh, you know, used to be do at namaz and then cook the swaya, you know, I did five fatiha. Oh, mashallah. Uh -huh. And uh, then I think so yesterday is, I'm, I'm living in the Dayton, Ohio. Yes. Mm -hmm. People did yesterday here, but uh, I'm in the fasting. Yes, right. Uh, and... Then uh, today is a, uh, some people did uh, eat today, but it's really far away. You know? Oh. And that's why I don't have a chance to go over in the mosque, but I did at home. Oh, okay. And Masha. then, you know, I, I went to the store and uh, I have a dress, you know, other one, shalwar kameez, and yes. everybody asking me. People know that every day when I go over there, I have a fast. I, I work over there. Yes. And then they see me dressed up and they ask me, I say, yes, today I have a, you know, eat like a cookie. So I explain to them, you know. Yes. And mm -hmm. they ask me about the cooking, what are you going to cook today? And oh, I wow. tell them the biryani. Oh, <laughs> korma, <mashallah. laughs> You know, and a uh, uh, nice dinner, you know. Yes, and, uh, yes. They are listening and come back home and I cook and, you know. Uh, it's really wonderful, and I give my uh, kids a Eid. Uh -huh. My son is a, mashallah, one of the son, he's a 25 years old. Yes, yes. Mom, come on, you know, I said, no, you still baby. So, Mom, I'm a baby. I said, no, it's, this is special, because I still remember, and I, I just feel like it's sad. I remember for when I was Pakistan and was young, you know, and uh, my, my father, my mom, they give uh -huh. us Eid, you know. Yes, yes. And I just tell him, and say, uh, I miss my mom and I miss my dad, you know. And when I was in Pakistan and Eid Day, they give us all sister, brother. Yes. He wants so badly to eat for, from parents, you know. Yes, and right. And then say, I give him Eid and I, uh, they know that, mashallah, alhamdulillah, they know that. Right. And uh, I give my other son and they are happy and alhamdulillah, it's always, it's wonderful and, you know. Allah Ta'ala Paak Parvardigar, you know. Alhamdulillah. Oh, mashallah. You know, that is, I'm so happy to hear about that. Uh, in fact, uh, Molana was telling me that when he was young too, same just like you had said, that uh, Eid time was Eidi and getting yeah, Eidi, money. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, Mom, I'm not baby. I said, no, you still baby, you know. Alhamdulillah. You, mashallah, alhamdulillah, you grew up, but... You know, and I told my in a story, and I feel like a little bit, you know, uh, I feel like a tear, you know, because uh, my mom and my father is not anymore, you know. Yes. Uh -huh. Still, you know, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. It is uh, actually. Is fine, and, you know, I had a wonderful time with my kids. Alhamdulillah. You know, I can feel your excitement, alhamdulillah. And actually, that's so important uh, that when Eid comes, when someone's excited in the home, you know, about, uh, about Eid, then everyone else has to get excited, too. So that's yeah, so that's lovely. Right. I, I know when, I still remember when I was little, 
and uh, my mom give uh, our hana you know in yes. the in hand yes in the uh, we are we can't sleep whole night right my god i still all thing i remember you know and right. i want to be when uh, you know come in the morning we have to get up and my mom makes wanya and we get to other people's home Mhm yes and, sure, uh, sure they give us money <laughs> oh wow you remember yeah uh, you know we are little you know and the uh, one thing i i tell you the story you know it is really funny yes. but uh i still yeah feel like uh, my uh, other sister she, she's a uh, younger than me yes and uh, we have a one uh, mashallah um, a teacher uh she teaches quran yes and uh, always when we take the swaya or halwa something and she gave us money a lot uh-huh. in that day the rupiah is rupiah is a really big money you know yes right and, sure uh, my little sister said i want to go bibi's home and i said no i want to take the swing of bibi's home yes because bibi give too much money you know <laughs> right said, right you can go the home you know like a um, you know next next neighbor you know but i want to go to bibi's home because she gave the big money you know And oh still, we are uh, argument both of uh, my sister and me say, you know, and sometimes say, okay, sometimes I say, okay, you can go over there, you know. It, it's really, it's really oh, wonderful. Every time when Eid come, yes. and I remember whole story, you know, whole oh, thing. It, it's it's wonderful. It's wonderful. And oh, Allah, my whole day is, you know, I cook and you know, and make a good dinner. Uh-huh. I'm waiting still. Uh, my husband, you know, inshallah, then we will get him. Inshallah. Actually, did your kids grow up in the U.S.? Hello. Hello. Yes. Did your did your uh, children grow up here in the, the United States? Yeah, they were born here. Mashallah. One my daughter is a she's a twenty eight years old, uh-huh. and mashallah, she's a doctor. Mashallah. And, uh, and the other one is a he's in the uh, still like um, college. Yes. Right. Have. And uh-huh. they are born. Uh, they are raised here. They are born here. You know. Yes, right. And actually, I have Imam Bara and uh, mm-hmm. everything Allah man. Because uh, main thing, I do the milas. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. When Muharram come and yes. mostly, you know, we have a milas at home. Yes. Wanna show that my kids too when you know they are when was little, you know, and uh, they see everything, you know. Mm-hmm. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Yes. It's, it's big help too. Uh, yes. We don't have a big community here. Yes. Uh, maybe fourteen or fifteen families only, you know, live here. Yes. But we live far away. Right. Then Muharram come, we have to go hour, two hours drive over there. I see. You know, uh-huh. but Alhamdulillah, I have to thank God. Yes. Allah Taala give me the chance, you know, and uh, uh, I have a at home everything, you know. Uh, Mashallah, um, uh, Imam Ga- Barga. Yes, that's a, Alhamdulillah. That's Al- a Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. I'm, I'm so happy. I'm so uh, inside. It's so good, you know. Yes. Some, you know, everybody is not perfect, you know. Even right. There's something, whatever the case. But you know, sure. Alhamdulillah. So far, Alhamdulillah. I, you know, I have to just thanks to God, you know. Alhamdulillah. How much would you say that uh, maybe love of the Ahlul Bayt has to do with that, with your children? Uh, say again, sister. Uh, actually, because uh, I was thinking that uh, you know, kids growing up in this country, it's, it, Alhamdulillah, it sounds like you expose them just by having an imbar- Imam Bara in your home. Uh, that you know, you love the Ahlul Bayt, and they know that. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. You visit just a big khazana. Yes. This is a big zana for me. Yes. You know, I always pray to God, God give me the muhabbat ahle bat. Muhabbat oh, khazana ahle bat. Nothing else for uh, this one. You know. I think so, if you know, see the money or whatever. Yes. But this is a big zana and I have to thank God. Al- uh, you know, what we have to do. I mean, uh, Allah, the Pak Parvati God, give us the feet to do the, you know, right way, you know, uh, uh, follow them, you know. We try. We mm-hmm. try. I mean, you try, Allah help you. I know that. I believe it. I yes. believe it, you know. If you want to do something, you know. And uh, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, I'm so proud. My son, one son is, is Alhamdulillah, very religion, you know. 
be questioning when he's go some alarm or something, you know, and if he research, he go to internet, mm-hmm. and when he have a time. Mm-hmm. And Alhamdulillah, I have to thank to God. Mm-hmm. Everything, everything you have to thank to God, you know. That's God right. blessing me, you know. Um, I mean, I pray, I can do it. I'm mom, you know. I pray always. Yes, sure. To give my kids right path, you know. Sure. Alhamdulillah, little one is a, you know, uh, it, it's a little bit worried about him, you know, because, you know, but Alhamdulillah, I, I pray and talk to him in the, you know, he's, he's Alhamdulillah much better, you know. Uh, I, I just can pray, you know, and uh, uh, you can pray for, you know, my kids. Sure, all our children, you know, actually, may Allah guide them all. Each other, you know, we, have, yes. we, need, we need to pray each other who will work. Absolutely. All, you know, the, inshallah, Allah will help all of us, actually, on this path. Inshallah. And inshallah. our children, too. You're right, we need help, actually. And Allah is the one that uh, Allah will help us, one. inshallah. That's right. Alhamdulillah, I... Please. This faith. Uh, one thing I want to yes. tell you that yes, sure. so many people say no, uh, you can do something is not listening. Uh, Allah, um, yeah, so, astaghfar, so, astaghfar. But this is my belief. Then you ask to God, and God don't give you no way. Mm-hmm. When you pray, if, if you believe, God will listen to you. God give you mm-hmm. one. One thing I want to give you an example. Sure. Last month. Uh, it's, it's night time, right? A little bit that, you mm-hmm. know, it's a pray time. Like they said, when you pray this time, Allah will accept that, you know. Yes. So, I'm good. Uh, last month, I have it, uh, my teeth really proud. My sister, I, did I take your time? Oh, no, Alhamdulillah. I'm learning a lot, actually, here. Thank you so much. Please, uh, Last on. month, I have it really, when I work, and I have a pain in my teeth. Yes. When I came back home, and uh, I... Can go emergency or whatever. I call the doctor and some of the over there. Um, I see the cleaner can say walk in, and uh, yes, I went over there. And the uh, doctor was not over there, but nurse she said, no, I just some um, I'm here for the appointment. You know, mm-hmm. doctor is not here. If you make appointment, you know, mm-hmm. then you know it's fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I asked her. I I, ha- I have insurance, and she said, oh, uh, we don't accept this insurance. She called back company, and uh, they said we don't accept this insurance. Mm-hmm. And I say, I just ask her, because I have really pain in my teeth. Yes. And I say, uh, if, uh, uh, how much it cost, you know, for the um, exam or blah, blah, blah mm-hmm. or so many things. Mm-hmm. She almost, she tell me the $1,000, uh, oh $75 for a checkup, right. uh, $200 for x-ray, mm-hmm. or if they f- fill your uh, teeth, blah, blah, and mm-hmm. this much money. Mm-hmm. You know, I say... Uh, Let's go. I, I come home. I did take a, my pain medicine, but it's not work. Mm-hmm. I went to the my prayer room and my my imam bara, and I, I have a dua. Oh, Malali Allah Salam. Allah Masalla Allah. Allah Masalla Allah. And they read over there when you have a teeth hurt and this dua and you, yes. uh, you have a head. Yes. Believe me, sister. God, my witness. Mm-hmm. I can tell you truth. I pray just like Mawla Ali, alayhi salam, say like this, do it, this one, and think about the pain is ago. You can yes. believe that? Uh-huh. One month, one month, I don't went to the doctor, uh-huh. and I don't have a pain. Mashallah. Believe me, God my witness. Alhamdulillah. And I did, and I thought, I, I, I'm, I'm thinking, what Mawla Ali said, think about the, your, your, when you read this dua, and the pain is gone. Yes, the right. Pain is a gone. Wow, mashallah. Pain That's... is a gone. Alhamdulillah. 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 Parvardigar. Alhamdulillah. Shukran. Allah is I the mean, one. when you mm. do something you believe, yes. Inshallah. Inshallah. Is you know Allah. God takes you. care of everything. Alhamdulillah. Sallallahu Muhammad Ali Muhammad. I know Allah that I believe this all cannot God just make for them. The Ahle Bayat. Mm-hmm. People have a problem, we have a problem. Only one reason because we are not right path. Mm-hmm. We are away from Islam. Sure. Ahle Bayat. You know, right. people think, think, you know, Quran is an. I have so many friends, other friends, and we, when we get together and they are women, you know, and I too, I say, Quran, they said Quran, no. But they don't understand Quran. Mm-hmm. Quran with the Ahle Bayat, the Ahle Bayat with Quran. Mm-hmm. But 
say, they said Quran is enough. If, mm-hmm. if they read the Quran and understand the Quran, they can, as a bad, they are not always from a bad, you know. But they don't understand. We people have this lots of problems in this whole world. We, we, sure people do. We mm-hmm. have lots of problems. Because we are just, say, we believe them. We, we believe them. We are not, we, uh, we are uh, uh, like a, I can explain. We not, uh, what they said, we not follow them. Mm-hmm. We say, oh, oh, we believe it. You, we, we, uh, we love them. You love them. You don't listen to them, what they said to you. Mm-hmm. You not follow the rules, what they're telling you. you know? mm-hmm. that, that's the problem. If we do, and I think so, all world be peaceful. If the Mola Ali is one call, okay. it's my belief, I say. If you believe only to follow the one call, Mola Ali, alayhi salam, Allah. Right, Allah, Muhammad, Allah, Muhammad, and Mola. Your life, deen, or dunya, both are really straight. Right. I believe me that is I feel that once it comes through it won't even take much and people will really be running towards Islam because uh, oh, yeah. just hearing Imam Ali alayhi salam, uh, any of the Imams alayhi salam, uh, everything they say just t- hits the heart. It captures the heart in such a way. Alhamdulillah. Yes, I'm sorry you were saying? I'm sorry, Sister Sister Zahida? Uh, yeah, yes. Yes, sister. yes, I'm sorry, you were saying something? Uh, no, I'm, I'm listening to you. I'm listening. Yeah. Yes, actually. I, I just say, you know, I, I hope so God will understand. You know, say, well, we, we believe him. But you're not listening to them, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you just said, oh, we oh, love karte we hain, hum maante hain. But you, tum unki nahi sunte. you don't mm-hmm. listen to them. That's right. Yeah. You know, they said, we oh, maante hain. Yeah, exactly. Saying is one thing and actually doing is a complete